Hi, this is the Apple device here, and I will be showing you how to make your iPhone into a mouse, pretty much, so you can control your, your computer with it. So, see, I'm controlling with it with my uh, with my iPhone right there, controlling. Then you can tap and stuff. Okay, so you, to set it up, you go to Air, you go to MobileAirMouse.com, and then you just go right there. And if you're Mac, you download from Mac, and if you're PC, you download from PC. And when you download it for Mac, it's gonna be in that toolbar up there. And when you download it for PC, it's gonna be right down there, okay? So that icon, the yellow one. Okay, so for the Mac, you just download it and then you click on it, okay? There it appears. And then you go down to your iPhone or iPod Touch, either one. And then you open, oops. To download it, you go to um, App Store, let it load, okay? So you search Air Mouse. Once you find it, just click on Air Mouse, and then just download it. I believe so. It's two dollars. Okay, and then you just click on it. And once you you get into it your first time, you gotta set it up. You go right there, and then and then you make sure the IP address is the same as the IP address there. And then the port number is the same. The port number is the same as the port number there. And make sure to put a password. Any password. You only need to type it in once, though, when you first hook up. Because if anybody ever tries to hack your iPhone or something, or your, your computer, they can just easily hack it and take control of your computer. Okay. So once you're, once you're done, once you hooked it up, you just click apply and done. Okay? And then. Just click on that for that. Load it. Connecting, connecting, connecting. Wait, done. Okay, hold. Okay, so now I'm controlling my mouse pad. My mouse, pretty much. Okay, I'm gonna go to YouTube. Okay, I'll just tap once. YouTube loads, okay. And then if you just throw it like that, you can then get keyboard, okay. Here you just like regular keyboard, I'll, I'll just type in iPhone iPhone and as you can see it wrote it there and then you just click return then it searches it okay, it searched iPhone yeah, I misspelled it there just put down, oh whoops okay, yeah okay, and if you wanna here you can also control your you can also control your iTunes, you just tap right there oh whoops, not the C, but you tap the down arrow thing and then you can hear, the middle one means you're in um, Safari or or Firefox and then the one that looks like a music icon, you click on that one then there, if you have your iTunes up, which I don't, kind of having problems there um, you click play, if you have iTunes up, and then it'll play it and to go to the next song, you click this button and then to um, do the volume, just volume up and volume down. And then play, pause, and then pretty much it. Keyboard, you can click, and then you slap it like that, and then it goes down. And if you click the shuffle button, you get this right here. This makes your iPhone pretty much be like a Wii remote. It uses the it, it uses the acceler accelerometer on your iPhone to um, make your to make your mouse move, so you click this bu button and hold, then as you can see my mouse is moving as I shift my iPhone, I shift it that way, okay, hold on, up, down, yeah, it's not too good, but it's pretty cool, the, the, the um, accelerometer feature, and then you can scroll down by just scrolling down right there, just like a mouse, and it's all through Wi-Fi, so you can be in your room and just controlling your iPhone. I mean, you can be in your room and just be controlling your computer if your computer is like downstairs or something. And then you can just click the shuffle button and start using it again. Okay, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks.